on this chart we have uh, on on uh, on one axis we have the percent infestation of varroa uh, over time, um, and this is what unchecked uh, varroa population might look like through the season. And we have the economic threshold. So it's important for us to keep our mite numbers below that economic threshold if we want to avoid uh, problems. And that threshold's pretty low, 3% or three mites per 100 bees. And if you're doing a 300 bee sample, that means nine mites in your half cup sample nine mites per 300 bees uh, in your sugar shake or your alcohol wash. So that's, a, that's an important number, 3%, three mites per 100 bees or nine mites in your half cup sample. There's another threshold, it's called the detection threshold. And it's important that your detection threshold be not above your economic threshold, but below your economic threshold. I see a lot of beekeepers who are not doing that monitoring, not doing good monitoring, and their detection threshold is through the roof. So if they are uh, not monitoring at all, or if there's just if they say, "Oh, I didn't see any mites on my bees," their detection threshold is uh, just so so high as to be of no use. It's really important that detection threshold be low. It needs to be below your economic threshold, so you can see. Uh, when you need to take action. So uh, with a e economic threshold of 3%, it's important that your detection threshold be less than three mites per 100 bees. And if, you, if you're not doing alcohol wash or uh, powdered sugar shake, it's unlikely that your detection threshold is below the economic threshold. Uh, another thing to remember is uh, as far as treatments go, that they're not bulletproof. Um, one third of the time they work as planned, so you have a high mite load, you apply the treatment, and at the end you have a low mite load. So things went the way they were supposed to. One third of the time they work, but the mites spike. So you had a high mite load, you apply the treatment, then you had a low mite load, come back in two weeks or a month, and your mite load is high again. So uh, what happened there. Perhaps you didn't kill the mites in the capped brood and now that brood has emerged and you've got this high mite load or it's possible that you've been reinfested from outside. A third of the time the treatment fails. So you had a high mite load, you applied a treatment and at the end you still had a high uh, mite load. Sometimes it's higher than when you started. So. Uh, I see beekeepers that are not using uh, registered and approved uh, methods, and, and that can go wrong. I see people using uh, registered miticides, but not using them according to the label, and that can go wrong. But I also see people that are using miticides correctly and having the problem. So uh, just remember that the miticides are not a silver bullet. They can be a good tool, but it, you really have to do that post-treatment monitoring to make sure that that treatment got you where you needed to go. So it really underscores the importance of post-treatment monitoring and having a good monitoring methods, good detection threshold. This beekeeper, uh, the, the, the dotted red uh, vertical lines indicate monitoring points. So this beekeeper started monitoring at population buildup in the spring. Um, things were under control uh, until late summer where his uh, the mites hit that economic threshold. They took action, did some post-treatment monitoring to make sure things were under control, and then followed up with one last monitoring before they put their bees to bed for winter. So current best management practices, you need to be monitoring at least four times per year, starting with population buildup. Um, so in the spring, as your bees go into explosive growth mode, that's when you need to start monitoring. It's not just, a, oh, I'm monitoring August thing anymore. And that uh, monitoring needs to continue 
on until you put your bees to bed uh, for winter. So in my neighborhood, that's about November 1st. Could be different in your neighborhood. Your mileage may vary. All right, so that's my little uh, monitoring pep talk. I hope that's uh, of some value. And I hope you guys will get out there and uh, do the monitoring show uh, North America what North Carolina is made of not just to make us look good but to, to take care of our bees so, so monitoring uh, you you really need to monitor you need good information to make good decisions and monitoring is where you get that information so uh, let's get out there and do that work we'll talk to you soon